Yo, YouTube, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are joining a game online and we're going to be showing you guys. Oh my god, bro. I'm not even lying. I can't finish an intro without dying. I think I might be cursed low key. But yeah, what I was saying is we're going to be showing you guys how to control gunfights and how to win more medium to long range gunfights with an assault rifle. So let's get right into it. So we start off, we, st we kill one, we spot this guy on the right. Okay, my teammate takes him out. There's a guy on top. Good shots there. Okay. While the UAV is active, we. Oh, there's a guy spawning behind me. So he's going to be on my left there. As soon as we take him out, okay, I wanted to reposition there. Now, that was actually quite unfortunate because they kind of just spawned right behind us. So, this is 12v12. Obviously, it's going to get quite mixy. We have to be ready for it. There's one. Good shots there. We take him out. I'm expecting some more people to be around us. We're going to get the pistol out. And there you go. He's actually on my right-hand side there. So, again, there's going to be a lot of people around us. Here. We've got to take our time. I, I might chuck a trophy here just to go through. At least this way, you know, we go through a wider angle. Especially... Oh, my God. Bro, he just pushed me and knifed me. So what I'm trying to do right now, right now is get out of this spoon trap and basically use the weapon to its advantage, okay? So we've got an assault rifle. So right there, that's what you want to do, okay? You don't want to just run up the ladder like I did first time. You're going to take your time. We take out one. Okay, now we can now we can go through. So my teammate's there. Just all about clearing the sights, okay? So let's go through the right side on the head glitch. Now, public matches can get mixy, man, especially in a 12v12 where there's so many people. So what we want to do now is we want to go to an angle where we get, you know... We can get into some gunfights, but we're not too open. So let's jump across there. There's actually some people on my right. So straight away, we're going to stand on the right-hand side. Let's chuck a nade over. Let's cook that right behind my teammate. So you see, we get one back off straight away. There's about five people there. So we're actually going to play a different angle. Take out another one. Jump around the corner. So there's a sniper on me. So... <clears throat> It is sometimes a bit difficult to dodge snipers. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think with snipers, the more aggressive you are, the better. Oh, let's back off for a second. Yeah, snipers is a weird one because sometimes if they have a good shot, right, it's not really on you. It depends on how good their shot is. I and mean, they can just kill you. Like, if you show them, you know, a second of yourself, like, if you overcommit, they're going to kill you. So, definitely have to be careful against uh, snipers. I don't really want to play the hill here because you're going to be exposed to a lot. So, I'm actually going to go to the back. We're going to hold that angle for a second. So you see, as I'm holding, I'm actually going to back off to get towards the head glitch. Oh, the nade comes in. There you go. So normally when someone nades that, that's when they kind of challenge as well. There's a second. Take him out. And I'm chilling here. I'm just going to use this other head glitch. Take my time. There you go. Another kill. So start. we're doing a really good job on this right-hand side. You see, we're locking it down. Now, if they come through my left, I'll see the hill go red. So it's such a big um, thing to watch a mini-map. Another one dead. UAV goes through. So this guy's on my right now. We're going to take our time. There you go. Now, I am technically camping, but at the same time, it's it's strategic as well because I'm, I'm kind of spawn trapping them as well. And I'm just strafing this head glitch. So we're doing a really good job of just taking over. There you go. There's a helicopter. Exactly what you wanted. Oh. Another one down. We take out one. I'm actually going to get away from this just because the hill's gone now, okay? So what that means is I have less teammate support. So if anything, there's going to be more of them pushing me. So I'm going to back away, try to play a bit smart here. And we're very close to our advanced UAV, so I'm actually going to play for that. So it looks like they've got the hill right now, which is fine. Is that an opponent? No. So you see we're one off an advanced UAV. There you go, we get it, we're going to push away. And he's right behind me, so... A bit annoying there. We kind of got, you know, aggressive just to get the advanced UAV. Did a good job there, and now we did end up dying. But what the good thing is that we died on the advanced UAV is my streak resets, right? So I can probably get another one quite quickly here. So let's take our time. We take out one. We know there's another one looking at me. We make him weak. We get taken out. I read that a little bit wrong there. But while the advanced UAV is up, we actually want to get a bit aggressive here and try to just... We want to try to take over, man. When the advanced UAV is up, you want to use that to your advantage. There's one. Turn around straight away. Now look at the minimap. There's two there. We take another one. So they're spawning everywhere. They're spawning behind me and in front of me. So what you want to do now is honestly just pick a call. To pick a side and play your life a little bit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit to this side here. There's one. Take out two. They're going to literally all come on my left there. So I'm going to hold. They can hold that for me. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, I have to get out. I have to get out. Oh, he's right behind me. I'm dead here. I'm dead here. Oh, my God. That stun really, really cost me there. I was actually on a really good streak, to be honest. So, yeah. Not doing bad at all. Considering I joined a little bit late as well. Kind of frying. So, let's watch this bottom for a second. There's one. Take him out. Perfect. 
It's all about the line of sight. So sniper there. Bro, when you go up against a sniper at distance like that, it's just, you know, it's almost impossible. So I guess the one thing you can do is just position yourself in better scenarios, but not doing a bad job. So you can see on the minimap, they're all on my right. So I'm going to go up top here, you know, just stand on the high advantage. Trophy system is going to be massive here. There's one. I'm actually going to, I'm just going to full send this one. Okay, hold the nade. Hold the nade. That should kill him. There you go. Really good nade there. We know the other one's by the window. Oh. So, yeah. Um, because the game's at the end, I like to play a bit more aggressive just because I know I, I can't physically get a nuke right now. So, why not play aggressive and just, you know, get, get some more gunfights. Just to, the more gunfights you get, the more kind of practice, the more reps you can get. So, we're going to push through. I mean, we can low-key just play out to the 250 mark, but, yeah, we'll see what happens here. I'm actually going to go through to the middle here. So, did not mean to pick that up, but that's fine. That guy's dead. We're going to push through. Let's get aggressive with the pistol and see what we can do. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Oh, my God. Yeah, this game's basically over. So, let's see what happens there. I, I want to see what I kind of ended up with. I mean, 33 kills didn't do bad at all. I'm probably going to jump into another game right after this and see what we can do for a second game because that was cut a little bit short. We joined like halfway through. So we finished 37 to 11, which I think was pretty good. So we'll take it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that first segment of the of the gameplay. We're going to stay in this lobby. Hopefully we get like a domination or a hard point because obviously they're the best. And yeah, let's see how we do in game two. So for this second game, I decided to mix up the pacing, go into a free-for-all. And I just want to see how the pacing can change and how we can control gunfights in a free-for-all. So let's go through and see what we can do. Okay, drop claymores. They're starting already. They're starting already with the challenges. So we go through this guy on my left. Take one out. There you go. Good shots. We take him out. Now, I'm assuming they're going to spawn in this back right area. So, let's get ready for the gunfight. Doesn't let anyone take. Going to jump around. There you go. Second down. Okay. Right now, we're, doing, we're trying to literally control the gunfights. Okay. Trying to play our life well. See what we can work with. Take our time here. You know, people normally push this back area. I hear the glass break on the left. See, there's also a laser there. So, who was he shooting? Whoever he was shooting, he's out of there, bro. He's sent, he's sent to the gulag right now. Big kill there. We're going to back off, play our life, and there you go. We get killed, but we get the UAV, which is massive, okay? Especially in free throw when you don't really have much intel. UAV's going to be very helpful. We jump around. That guy's just getting peace. That guy's getting peace. Nothing he can do about that one. So is he, bro. Peace, get out of my lobby. So there's a guy on the right. We're actually going to full send this guy here. So let's have a look. Where is he? So he looks like he's there. You go. He was out in the open. Did I see someone on the right? Oh, my God. Bro, I literally I thought I was tweaking. I was like, no, no one's on the radar there. So what you want to do is you don't want to be in areas where everyone can see you, okay? So you're trying to back off. Now, because I have a UAV, I can kind of get away with it because I'll see majority of players. But generally, you, don't, you want to try avoiding areas like this, in my opinion. There's another one. We take him out. I'm just getting mixy with it right now because I'm trying to get closer to the helicopter, right? Okay, so he's really weak. So I'm actually going to jump the left. Now, where did he go in the UAV? It looks like he went straight. He went straight around this corner. Jump around the corner, absolute. And we're, we're kind of frying right now. I mean, we're doing our thing. We're going to keep going to the left here. So there's a guy there. I'm assuming he's going to chase me. I didn't just assume he's going to chase me. I actually heard him as well. So once I got the assumption right, I heard him run at me. So I to back off. And there you go, easy kill. Let's play this corner. We see one hopefully running across my screen. There's two there. Interesting, interesting. Big kill on him. Now, at this point, I hear someone again. You know, the pistol's a bit better at that close range, so we're going to go around, take our time here. Maybe someone's up here. So I don't know exactly where he is, but I know he was around there somewhere, but just okay. We're really playing for that advanced UAV right now. Good shots. My helicopter kind of stole that one off me, I'm not going to lie to you. The reason I wanted the kill is because uh, it works towards my streak there, so just wait for him to push through. All good, all good, all good. We just got to be careful right now because they know I'm around here. So I'm actually going to try to get out of this position. So it's all about the reposition for me. So now we're in a better spot in terms of they might not know I'm here. Ooh. I am shooting though, so they are going to know exactly where I am. But if we can go up top here, I don't know why I'm moving like I'm trying to get a thumbnail. But yeah, this is a good spot. Definitely can get beamed, but yeah, this is not a good spot actually. I, I yeah. Definitely not a good spot right now, but bro, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it see what we can do. You know what I want to do? 
Bro, I'm tweaking so bad. This is such a bad spot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is such a bad spot for me. Bro, get me out of there. There, there you go. Now we're in a better spot, okay? Let's take our time here. There you go. One of the advances right there. Oh. Let's go. We're on the advance right now. I think we were 19 and 1. Yeah, we're doing our thing, man. We're doing our thing right now. So we're just going to take our time, bro. Let's see if we get a nuke. So he looks like he's underground. Just from the way the minimap is and the way he was running. Is he going to push me here? Yeah, so right there, I saw him on the minimap. He was supposed to be in front of me, but I didn't see him. So that gave me the information. He's underground. This guy looks like he's going to push in front. Easy kill. The guy goes on the run. I'm going to back off. So this guy's obviously going for the chow here, but someone else looks like they're going to try killing him. Oh, this guy's going for me. This guy's going for me. So I'm actually going to try to play a different angle here. Don't ask how I still have my... my uh... we're, we're leaving this area. We're, we're, out. we're out of there. We're good. We're good. We're in a different spot. Oh, he's right behind me still. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. There's a guy on my left now. Oh my God. This is insane. This is insane right now. We can't even reload. Bro, we're not even reloading right now. No, this is insane right now. Let's take our time. There's another one. Okay. 25 kills, bro. We are peace in the lobby right now. I'm one shot. going to back off. I assume he's going to push me here. Take our time. Put a little trophy down. Now, I don't want to get flanked here at all. So, just going to have to be, be a bit careful here. When you look at the score, we have plenty of time. Plenty of... Uh, you know, plenty of a lead now, so not really panic. So I'm really going to go for this 20. I'm going to go for the 30 and 1, man. I'm going to play for it. I'm not really nervous because I can't get a nuke regardless at this point. So it doesn't, doesn't really matter. But I, I want to see if I can go 30 and 1. It'll be pretty nice. Oh, someone right there. Bro, I, was, I don't know what I was looking at right there. I didn't realize. So I'm just going to wait. Let's give, give me a second. So you kind of want to play the outskirts there. Just get a free kill. Oh. I mean, 30 and 1 will be will be pretty nice scoreline. If Big Fish will give it to me. If Big Fish will give it to me. Nope. Let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get back into cover. I mean, I'm not one to complain. I mean, 30 and 1 will be very nice. Is it a nuke? No, but it's about as close as we're going to get. Is, everyone, is anyone in the game right now? So, that, that, you know, we're going to full send this guy. So we see his laser in the right-hand side. We're going to go through. There you go. 30 kills, one death. Now, we will take that. <laughs> don't get me wrong. The team we were going up against, the players we were going up against, I don't know what happened, but I'm quite annoyed we choked the nuke there. And you guys know skill-based matchmaking is extreme. So I'm just going to take the luck here. We take it for what it is. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And yeah, I just know the next lobby I get into is going to chalk me. We just went 30 and 1. <laughs> hope you guys enjoy the video. Kind of how to improve your KD, how to play, how to get more kills and position. If you enjoy, make sure to drop a like. And let me know down in the comments what type of video you want to see next time. And I'll catch you for another video tomorrow. Peace.